As a young black girl living in North Philadelphia, I grew up feeling safe and happy in my neighborhood. Whenever I would see a police officer, I thought that they were there to help. But as I got older, I started to question if police officers always had citizens' best interest in mind. Last summer, my mother told me stories about what was happening in Ferguson, about how the people protested the death of Mike Brown were tear gassed by police officers. It began to seem like the police were abusing their power. Hearing what my mom said about the police made me feel frustrated and unsafe. People my age are being targeted and killed by police officers even when they are just trying to live a normal life. I wanted to explore this topic through media because I wanted to see how children and community members are being affected by police brutality. I'm afraid of the police because they can hurt me and they can take advantage of me. My grandma is afraid to let us outside of the house at night time because of police brutality and because of the police brutality. I'm afraid of the police because they harm people for no reason and then they lie on the news and then the policemen lie on the news to the news people and say they did harm them when they didn't. I constantly feel like when the people in my family go outside there is too much of a chance that they won't come back due to um, unfair punishment for things that they haven't done and I feel as though it's a problem that no one wants to solve. Yes, my brother, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, you know, with his friends and all that. He got pulled over and they told him to put their hands up. My brother, he went to go put his bag down and nothing like that and then they shot him. For me, it has had a big effect. I mean, I lost my brother. A policeman has shot my brother. He's now dead. But I just was going home. Going home to look for my little sister because she wasn't nowhere to be found and they just, they picked me up and just said, like some, they just picked me up and said that I was part of a crime that I didn't do. It just, it just took me. I am the mother of a 16 year old African American boy. Um, no, sorry, he's not a boy, he's a young man. Um, and it concerns me because, and this goes back to the whole racial profiling thing, he wears the sweatpants, he wears the t-shirts, and that's not to say that he might not be taken as someone who's doing the wrong thing. I mean, he goes to Central, he's not a bad kid, but this is what I'm saying, it, it affects me because it worries me, because as I said, we have to challenge those stereotypes and those generalizations that we've always had, and police officers as humans, they're guilty of it too. So they have to be able to challenge it. Um, I'm worried because I don't want him to have a negative experience with the police because I feel like that just, I feel like it's hard, that's a hole once it's dug. I feel like, especially kids today, they're not gonna be able to get out of that. I really feel that way. Mike Brown, Tamir Rice, Eric Gardner, Freddie Gray, these are just some of the names in the news of black people killed by the police. Police brutality is an issue in all of America today. Why? Because people are unable to get into the community and relate to the folks that they're serving on a daily basis. A per black person was just walking by, then a cop just said, um, come here, so they need to put cuffs on them. And I was like, for what? I do think there's issues of racism with the police because I see in the news mostly black people are getting hurt by policemen for not doing anything. It scares me that Maybe one day I'm just walking down the street and I could get hurt by the police. I think police officers are racist because mainly they're killing blacks, African Americans, and people that aren't white. There are some police officers that are racist, but you can't say that they all are because there are a lot of police officers in America total. But. I do believe that there are racist police officers. They are supposed to make you feel safe. They're um, supposed to provide some, not comfort, but you should feel comfortable enough that if you're ever in trouble, if you need their help, that you can, you can call them. You can call on them to help you. You can call on them in time when you really, when you really need them. I don't know if that's how a police presence in a community is seen right now given everything that's going on. Police officers are asked to, um, to make split-second split decisions about whether 
a figure that they're looking at is an, a threat or whether it is benign and non-threatening. Um, and again and again and again, the research indicates that whether, no matter what color the police officer is, um, their African American males are assessed as older and more dangerous. I'm beyond furious that people are being bullied, punished, hurt, and profiled by cops because of their skin color. I am not alone. Many people around the country have raised their voice to say that black lives matter. Of course I think like black lives matter. I have two boys myself. I think the whole city or the whole system needs to get on board with that. How did that even come along? Because it's too many incidents that it seems that black lives aren't mattering. If it matters, then it has to have, keep the momentum going forward. And it doesn't always have to be because of someone uh, losing their life either. People are speaking out about this problem. I hope this will help us to stop police brutality from continuing. We've reached out to the police to get their perspective, but no one responded. I don't have no problem for the, with the police. I mean, they do their job. It's just that sometimes they need to wait a minute, you know, give time and let it develop. And one of the biggest reforms has to be the ability of the police to get into the community, out the car, be able to walk that beat and talk to the people who they serve on a daily basis. That will help to reform not only the attitude of the people, but help to reform the attitude of the police toward the people in that community because everybody needs help at some point in time. And we want to make sure that we can have our help from the police who are there to serve us. And we as citizens also have to respect them as what they're doing, uh, their job. Do I think there should be reform in our justice system? Absolutely. Knowing this now, police officers and police departments and, and even the civilians, we have to really think about um, our own prejudices and our own assumptions and our own generalizations that we've been making and then challenge them because that's how we get rid of this issue, by challenging what we always thought and learning to not generalize as much so it doesn't lead to something like police brutality. Whenever I think about the police targeting minorities, I think about my favorite Nelson Mandela quote, resentment is like drinking poison and hoping to kill your enemy. When police are killing the people they're sworn to protect, they are really just hurting the entire country.